Hi guys, Stamno here. I'm here to review three sunscreens but from two brands that I've been using that has not left me with any white cast. So if you're interested in seeing the video, please keep on watching. So um, these are the sunscreens I have been using. So I'm going to start first with the Baudema SPF 50. It's an anti-age sunscreen. This is the packaging. This is the back view. So details of this sunscreen will be in the description box. And I'll also include the price and some few details right on the screen here. So this sunscreen comes with a cap, which you just like open up like this. And you just tend to press whatever amount you need to apply on your face. I like to go in with two and a half pump. So I'm going to just take it, it's lotion-y, but it's more on the thick side as opposed to the liquid side. So because I'm going to be applying lots of sunscreens, I will extend some downward. But it's good for you to like cover up areas where the sun actually does heat. So even if there is no sun, whatever weather you got, you're facing in your country, you're supposed to apply sunscreens. So you guys can see this one it is giving me no white cast it is just going into my skin and it didn't take time for me to blend i have applied it and it is gone i am not shiny so it's just you know good so the next sunscreen is by the same brand about the amount is SPF 50 and this one is matte and I really use this one a lot you can see how tiny it is so I'm going to go with two pumps like I used for the other one in comparison to the other one that I use this one is a lot runnier so I'm just gonna take a few you know blendings for you guys to see can see that this as well doesn't leave a single white cast on the skin blended in effortlessly without stress and it also still looks good not shiny it does have like a mild effect i want to compare the two sunscreens before i move on to the next one so i don't forget so these two sunscreens are spf 50 made by same by the same brand one is anti-aging one is a matte sunscreen so they both contain 40 ml worth of product and you can find them on the brand's website expires in 12 months so i really do like the sunscreens as you can see they are so you know portable and travel friendly if you don't have makeup you can always reapply so i'm looking forward to getting a spray sunscreen to review for you guys so expect that in the future the third sunscreen I have here that's from a different brand is by Supergoop. This has been like one of my most used sunscreen ever. Like I have used this, it's almost empty. I, I have it at this port right now. This sunscreen is also an SPF 50. It is water resistant and sweat resistant. The price of this would be on the screen right here. I want to show you guys the consistency to this sunscreen. I'm going to two and a cleaner so this is a tea test among the sunscreens i've showed you guys today it has this you know rosemary woody kind of scent it's not a disturbing woody scent it's a very nice fragrance maybe i'm not really picking off the woodiness from it so just saying so i really do like this one a lot and this didn't give me any shelf life so this contains 71 ml worth of product that's a 2.4 fluid ounce worth of product back view of the sun screen so let's apply this oh god i just love the fragrance the super good 
one has. It's just so like it's so relaxing. So you guys can see that I have much more of a shine. So because of the formula and the ingredients used to make this sunscreen, it does leave you with a tiny bit of shine. I'm happy to see that brands are starting to make sunscreens that won't leave us with, you know, white cars. So I would recommend these three sunscreens to anybody. So go get yourself sunscreens that won't leave you white cars. So if you haven't seen my previous video on sunscreens, I'm just going to link the video up or down for you guys to, you know, go watch it. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.